So hi everyone and a warm welcome back to the channel. Dave here from Caravantastic. We're not out in the caravan this week, so um, what I thought I'd do was another one of those caravanning top tips for absolute beginners videos. Now, I mentioned before in many videos, we've been caravanning for about six years now and um, every day still feels like a school day and I still feel like a caravan newbie because I'm forever picking up top tips. And all the tips that I've picked up, I've obviously picked them up from other people. So everything you're gonna see here has been stolen with pride. Yeah, I'm not ashamed to admit it. Stolen with pride, and if you wanna go and steal with pride, that's really the aim of this video. So in no particular order, things that we found really useful whilst we've been out caravanning, with an idea to really either saving time uh, saving labor, so energy and my back and stuff like that. Uh, saving space, do you know? Uh, and maybe even saving weight. So let's have a little look. No particular order. I'm going to bring this one up first. This is an old um, drill stroke screw, um, screwdriver that I had in the, in the garage for ages. Uh, and I was out on a site one day and I saw some guy going... bit like a Formula One pit crew putting the steadies down and back up with one of these. Now the bit you want if you haven't got one of these drills already you'll need a drill obviously but you can get these pretty cheap. Um, I think I paid about 15 quid for this and then this little gizmo here which has obviously got the right size fitting on for your steadies nut on your caravan you can get those on Amazon on eBay and they're just a few pounds okay I couldn't tell you what the current price is and anyway if you're watching this video in 10 years time all the prices will have gone up so work it out this is brilliant and without it I mean I have done it without it put the steadies down with an old wheel brace it is back breaking and takes forever this is one of Helen's uh, ideas uh, again though stolen with pride from somebody else just these little um, tidies, these little plastic trays, you know, boxes. You can get these in the pound shops, can't you? Get them on eBay, get them on Amazon. They, they are the pennies. And we use these to fit into our cupboards as a little um, way of keeping everything neat and tidy, particularly where food is concerned, because in the big lockers that we've got, and I'll just show you a picture now, uh, you get food in there, just a few items, and when you're on the move particularly, they will rattle around and fall about and we've had all sorts of bags. We've had eggs on the floor, we've had broken eggs and cracked bottles and uh, juice tins that have split open and stuff like that. But by packing things in little tidies like this actually really saves uh, a lot of hassle. So for the sake of just a few pounds for probably a packet of three or four of these, they're worth every penny. Get down to your local pound shop, get some of them. Every caravaner, motorhomer, etc. needs a spirit level. You might be wondering what on earth you need a spirit level for. It's absolutely crucial, I think, when you're out and about, that you've got your caravan, when it's pitched, as steady as it can be. And quite simple, you know this what I'm going to say. You just stick this on a flat surface, normally on the floor, or if you're convinced that your worktop's nice and flat, then get this on the worktop or on the floor, and just make sure from side to side, so as we sit in the caravan now, you know, um, horizontally, uh, you've got your bubble in the middle, and you know that the caravan is level in that direction uh, but also from front to back so the way to adjust front to back is with your jockey wheel if you, you know if you tip too far one way adjust the jockey wheel until you bring the front end up and you've got that bubble in the middle because it, it works in so many ways you'll sleep better uh, your fridge will operate better everything just works better when your caravan's level particularly if you're staying on any pitch for a period of time and this I don't know what it costs I bet you can pick one of these up for a couple of quid you know, they're nothing really, but you really need one. Stole this off Mr. Good Old Bob Earnshaw, who probably nicked it off somebody else. This is just a little bit of uh, waste pipe from B&Q, with a hole drilled in the top, and then a bit of cord, string, a cable tie, whatever you want to use on top. And then when I go out to fill up the aqua roll, um, sometimes I forget to take the hose. The hose that I had got absolutely disgusting inside anyway, uh, and this, it's just really easy because I slot that, I'll just do a little bit of video here, slot that over the tap, drop it inside the aqua roll and uh, keeps everything neat and tidy. I don't get soaked uh, and this can be easily cleaned out with a little um, little brush. So get one of them. That will cost for a length of this about, blimey, two or three meters long. It's probably gonna cost you about a fiver if that, but uh, really good, I'm really glad we got that. So next up, torch. And this is especially bright, this torch.
this comes in handy. This is a, a rechargeable torch, got a number of different settings on it. I actually paid £18 for this. You can buy a torch for a couple of quid, you really can, especially these little LED ones now. But this is rechargeable, uh, it's very, very, very bright. Uh, if we do go out walking the dog, you know, early morning, late at night, this has an adjustable lens on it as well, so you can slide that backwards and forwards. And when this is fully um, at its widest, it, it will light a field up. It's also very powerful, so I can sort of shine onto objects that are probably, you know, at least half a mile away, if not more, uh, with no problem whatsoever. So you've got to have a torch. Um, if you had power cuts, you've got some lights from your 12 volt battery in the caravan and stuff like that. But if you have to go and get water late at night because you forgot to top it up or something, you know, always good to carry a torch. Also very good from a security perspective as well. Job is a good one. Just get a torch. So I must admit, I haven't seen this next tip anywhere. We just happened to buy some rather nice glass water bottles um, for, for at home. And when they were delivered to us from Amazon, they came in these. And these are inflatable, kind of like bubble wrap. But you can see they've got inflatable strips all the way around, shaped like a bottle. We've got a little valve here, so you, if, if they start to lose the air, you can just pump the air up. But you can see how these work. Get your valuable wines and spirits, whatever you're taking with you in your caravan. So this, we've got a couple of these, and I'm pretty sure if you search around on Amazon or eBay, you'll be able to pick something like this up. Nice little gadget. Easy peasy, get one. Next up, you're not going to believe this, a dustbin. <laughs> Again, pick these up at the pound shop, eBay, Amazon. You've got a load of space in them. You can get a, you know, a bag in there and you can get a decent amount of rubbish in a bin. Because I have to say, the bins that are on the door of our caravan and every other caravan, we've had other caravans, we've been in other caravans, you know, you, you put two or three things in and it's full, isn't it? So they're not really worth the light, you know, they're, they're just, they're a waste of a black bag or a bin liner, in my opinion. So we just don't use the bin that's on the door. And actually, if ever you break that bin, if you want to replace it or any of the parts on it, they are ultra expensive. So we just use the bin on the door to actually store all the dog stuff in, the leads, the little doggy bags and uh, anything for the dogs and chewies and stuff like that. They just go in the bin on the door, so that acts as storage for the dog. And we put that little dustbin outside. I just get a little bungee cord and I just uh, strap it to the caravan step. It doesn't go anywhere. You might have seen this in previous videos. It can't, can't operate, as far as I'm concerned, without a six litre watering can. It doesn't have to be six litre. And if I was very clever, it'd be a collapsible one, but I haven't got a collapsible watering can. This one's not going around in the garage, so I use it. I use this sometimes just to top the aqua roller. If I'm heading down uh, the site for any reason, or I'm close to the tap if I'm not on a fully serviced pitch, I'll just fill this up just to top up the aqua roll rather than just disconnect everything and drag it down. Obviously, if the aqua roll's empty, I'll go and take the aqua roll down, but I find it useful. Also, very useful when it comes to filling up the, um, the toilet system, you know, your, your water, your flush. So just tip that in nice and easy. Get a watering can, folks. You pick these up for next to nothing. Collapsible one's probably a good idea if you can get one. This next tip and trick is an absolute belter, and as I said right at the start, they've all been selling with pride, none of them are my ideas. Uh, but this, this is a hair band, but an elastic band would do the job just as well. Uh, carefree caravanning. Uh, I watched this ages ago, probably a couple of three years ago, and this little baby has got such a fantastic use. Get a load of this. So on a windy day, you're probably gonna get a lot of this. And <laughs> that becomes really annoying. Simple solution, with your elastic band or your old hair band, you just stretch that over there like that. And now it's not gonna blow around. That is really tight. So simple. Love to take the credit for that one, but no. So there you go. If you've got a noisy flap, you're gonna get yourself one of those and uh, then you'll sleep much better. Now next up, probably the most expensive little item that I have are these collapsed pipes. Um, lots of people use these, I know, but if you're a newbie and you've not seen them yet, 
then you buy these in a, in a handy little drawstring bag and they collapse so as you can imagine they do that and when they're fully extended they extend to one meter and obviously when you finish using these you can close them up but you can bend them to any shape you want so if you need to go around corners or down hills or whatever with your pipe then you can uh, these are the waste pipe of course I'll have to just play with them actually I can't believe what a clever idea these are now Graham from Caravan Vlogger, he's got different views on these. I, I think he just likes a little gag really. He likes to have a little joke. I know he's got them, but he's, he's perhaps not as keen as I am. Um, they come with all sorts of little um, bits and bobs. So they come with a little brush. So when you want to clean your pipes, you can in individually collapse those and, and just give them a, a clean, which is good because you get a lot of lime scale and, and rubbish get caught in the waste pipe so that's that's quite good and what it also comes with so it comes with this this is a, a little gizmo that you can cut to size so that you can connect those to your waste pipes on the outside use these all the time uh, best thing ever not cheap can't remember the price we bought ours on Amazon so you, and obviously we'll pay more because Amazon can be quite expensive but very convenient you know you order them in the morning and they're here for tea time sometimes so that's it for this video folks i uh, hope you found that useful and don't forget if you've got a top tip bang it below in one of the comments that's fantastic and we can share and share alike so if you have been thank you for watching catch you in the next one bye for now